All right, guys, so you want to become a Shopify app developer. Now, let's talk about the requirements. What is it that you need to know? Well, it's very simple. You need to know the basics of web development, okay? HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You don't have to be an expert, but just know enough to basically be able to create applications, okay? You don't have to be an expert again. Now, uh, as far as what you're going to need as an account, you're going to need to have a Shopify developers account, and it's mostly just a partner to account. So you go to developers.shopify.com, you register, right? Sign up right here. Once you sign up, you're going to have an account. Me, I have two accounts, Coding Phase LLC and my Coding Phase account, which is a personal and then from there, you're going to be able to create as many stores as you want for development for free. OK, so you're going to need to create an account to be able to use this thing here. All right. Now, the next thing that we have here is you need to know Node.js and just know the basics. Right. If you guys have been to my website, codingphase.com, you could go in there. You can learn the basics of Node.js. I even have a free course, right? You can search for Node. It's called Node and NPM Basics. This right here, right? Just learn that. That's all you really need, right? It's just to know the basics, okay? Um, if you have any problems on installing, just search installations, right? And this is a course that's completely free and you can learn how to install uh, Node.js inside of your computer. Okay. It's very simple, very straightforward. Now, if for whatever reason you still can't install it, hey man, Google's your friend, YouTube is your friend. Okay. There's a lot of different places where you can learn uh, to install your Node.js version uh, depending on whatever system you might have. Okay. So, don't let nothing stop you. I want you guys to really get in here and start working. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to have is Visual Studio Code. Okay. Once you have Visual Studio Code, you're going to be good to go. All right. Another thing that I want you guys to know is to basically know the basics of, you know, working with a terminal, right? You know how to go into different folders. You go like this right if you understand that then you're gonna be fine right um and that's pretty much it right nothing too crazy you don't have to be an expert again you can just follow along with what i'm doing and you're still gonna be fine but at least have these things where you're not gonna be lost with like super basic things all right if you again if you are a member of my website codingphase.com like literally there's a whole bunch of courses in there. We have the monthly subscription, uh, which basically gives you access to every single programming course that you will ever need. Okay. This is going to basically have everything from HTML, CSS, JavaScript frameworks, like sky's the limit. Like there's so many courses in here. I'm not going to name all of them, but if you're a member or of a monthly subscription, a yearly subscription, a lifetime member, etc., like all of these courses are in here. Okay. Again, another thing that I want to do point out that we will be using react js and we are not teaching react js in this course at all okay this is something that you need to know already now if you don't know it you can still follow along and literally you'll learn as we build this whole project but if you say you know what man this is confusing i don't understand it. i don't understand how react works my advice is again that course is there on the website you can literally do a quick search right this react js we have like a lot of react js courses okay so definitely go ahead and check it out okay now let's see in here let's see what else we got and yeah that's pretty much it right that's all you really need right now i'm going to be adding other things to the same course uh, maybe in the future so this might change in the future because i again we are creating a course for what's happening right now, but this is web development. Things change. So my advice is, hey, take this course, right? Follow along with everything. 
And if there's any changes in the future, you know, a year, two years, three years from now, right? Make sure you come back to this course because we will update it and we will add all of the new things that have been changed to the company of Shopify or how Shopify is doing their development. All right. Now in this course, again, we're going to be focusing on learning how to create Shopify application with no JS. Uh, if you have bought the Shopify app developer career bundle, then most likely in the future, we're also going to do it with PHP. So that's something that you guys can look forward to. But this course that you guys are taking right now is specifically with Node.js and we're going to be using uh, Next.js as our framework. OK, so let's just get started. I'm just super excited. I just want to start building things. OK, so let's just go in. I'll see you guys later. Bye.